Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So today I'm sharing my uh, blooming update for the month of uh, March with you guys. And let's start in my Orchid room. And I still have one uh, bloom left on the uh, Puffio Pedalum American uh, Beauty uh, Hybrid. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it's uh, American Beauty. But um, anyhow, this one had four blooms. I never had that many and I must admit it didn't bloom for quite a while. So the older uh, growth here did start making spikes as well. So I think that's why I did have four. But beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like the uh, spotting here and the lip of course. So yeah, that's the first one for this update. Then way over here, I have my, um, it's called Od Odontoglossum Carla with two beautiful spikes and beautiful purple with maroony colored dots on the blooms. Like I said, two spikes. These are a bit, yeah, this is a bit older. It's a little bit darker color wise and don't know if it shows up that much on camera, but I think it's a beautiful one. Slightly fragrant, nice fragrant, just a, a regular, more regular blooming fragrance if you, uh, if you ask me. Over on this side I have this No Idea, keeps on blooming, it's a beautiful rusty color. I like it really well, this one has a little bit more yellow there on the lip. But normally, I don't think that yellow is there that much. I'm sorry. Not that much. Well, the backlight is a bit too much. It's early in the evening and the sun is really uh, nice shining. <laughs> this one uh, came from my Landsbergen hall. And we can see we have even more buds to come. But these are all branches. And then uh, next to it, I have my... I need to check the name. This is the Odontia Irish Mist. So not the o Odontocidium, but the Odontia Irish Mist. And this one is the Extreme Climber. So normally the blooms are a little bit bigger, but um, it doesn't hydrate itself uh, enough, I think. Because the, the most of those roots are aerial. And they are growing, so soon I will uh, repot this one. But still, we have uh, at least a nice spike here. So let's turn over slowly, <laughs> and we have the first blooms open on this one. Oops, I'm sorry. This is my jewel orchid, one of the jewel ones, and this is the one with the yellow blooms that I talked about earlier. Beautiful spike, as you can see. But very similar blooms, but there's more yellow in it. Strange, but nice. This is one of, uh, I think this is the favorite one of my jewels for me. And if I have a name, I will have it in the screen. I have a name tag, but I can't, uh, cannot read it uh, anymore. So that's why I didn't bother to take it out. Then up here we have this beauty still blooming. This is the Arenensis something, coral, and then the white one, the white version. And in the back we have one, let me check. We have a few fresh blooms, I'm sorry, but not too much now. And it's not very pretty, but still <laughs> some blooms there, I'm sorry. But it's almost done, so the color is uh, gone. My zygo is going over. So when it does that, the blooms will look sort of like this. <laughs> um, yeah, this one is over as well. Yeah, here I have a first time bloomer for me. If I'm correct, I think. No, not the first time, I'm sorry. We have an old spike there. But beautiful, I think I bought this one in bloom. Very strange star shaped blooms with a beautiful pink and a little bit of that yellow edge going on there. And this one is called Dagmarara Purple Princess. So, 
let me put a tag back but yeah i think it's a very beautiful one and uh, let me check above we have this one odonto glossum altmar if i'm correct oops the backlighting is a bit strong this is a beautiful red one with a uh, purple lip and some red there as well so let me quickly yeah it's altmar Let's start on to Glossum. Colmenara. So Colmenara. Colmenara Altmar. That's the name. And next to it we have the Sun Kissed Buttercup something. <laughs> Just opening up so I uh, can enjoy these blooms for quite a while. Very small little blooms. Beautiful orange yellow color. Um, this is the Odonto Glossum I think. A little buttercup. No, not a little buttercup. Sun cup. I should look it up. I'm sorry. I uh, I can't remember the, the name from on top of my head. And my tag is not right. It's something with uh, buttercup, but uh, I have a wrong uh, tag. I made the wrong tag. I know it's idea. And then this beauty. <laughs> I'm so happy. I always love it when my Miltoniopsis come into bloom. As you probably know, these are my favorites. I love all my orchids, but these guys are something different. So, so beautiful and such a beautiful fragrance. So yeah, this one uh, had already a spike, but these are uh, new spikes. Two spikes, actually. They are lit tangled up. You can see this is another spike down here. And we have a spike there. It needs to open up, but you can see in the back, it has also spikes and two of those are open as well but some more to come so this is my oldest one it's doing very uh, very well it seems to be happy <laughs> and underneath here i have a second one this one is actually a bit brownish but it's it's uh, open and it's blooming <laughs> but we have a bit of the dark brown edges going on and but we have i think a better spike coming as well beautiful right when they start to open up so um let me check quickly we have more to come but these are not open yet i will do another video on them soon at least it's oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i need to go back i've almost forgot this beauty my nelly eiler which has three blooms and uh, i didn't see the spike for quite a long time because it was hidden here in this leaf but yeah it's a beauty this is the third time i think that i do rebloom this one so yeah i'm very proud of it because they can be a bit finicky a bit hard to grow as you can see i still have that harmonica shaped leaves here and there but i think on the new growths we're getting they're getting better so yeah but beautiful blooms nelly either so okay yeah that was it for the orchid room now i need to turn off the van it's quite warm today uh, let me go over here this is the epidendrum thomas oh that's his name <laughs> this was a freebie from something i don't remember the the uh, perkets where i did get, get it from but i do know that it was a freebie so but uh, as you can see this cane it came with and it started this one and this one already was growing quite big so that's beautiful then we have another epidendrum radicans orange here which i think it's more a combination of yellow and orange because i have the actual real orange here I think I think you can see the difference. Let me turn it around. That one in the right does look way more yellow if you compare them. But anyhow, that one is also called orange. And this is the red dragon. I hope my camera does the color justice. I, in my screen it's a little bit uh, flat now, but quite a bit. But I hope it will be better on screen. Then up here, some of you asked for it for updates here's my uh, renee uh, marquez 
flamethrower. It opened its new bud. Beautiful blooms. Those colors are so, so great. The green, purple, white, red and yellow. And all fairly uh, vibrant, vibrant colors. So yeah, that combination and the shape. Yeah, I really like it. Then we had the epidendrums over here. Then there in a down here. This is a new purchase, purchase uh, orchid. Just recently purchased. Oh, the tag is. <laughs> this is Baratonia green parrots. Maybe we recognize it, but I, I didn't have this one already, and I really love the green yellow colors with white. As you probably know, so therefore I uh, did buy this one, but it's not my spike, so to speak. But it's still uh, it's nice, so therefore it can be shown in here. <laughs> my spring eclipse, then dropping a spring eclipse, still in bloom. Beautiful. This is my very very large one, as you can see. The large one that I have, it's crazy. <laughs> And just above it, we have my golden elf, which is going over now. So I think they do bloom longer when they are a little bit bigger and more established. And uh, by bigger, I mean a bit older. This is a fairly young plant. And it's been through, through a lot, I think. But uh, it's doing okay. But I hope we can now grow some more canes. But these are some... Uh, some blooms, but you can see they go are going over. And next to it, this bright orange, three spikes, two with six flowers and one here. This one has four, so quite some blooms. It's the best blooming so far. And this is the Catleya Singfong Little Sun Young Min Golden Boy, the one with the long name as other everybody says <laughs> and it's it's true but beautiful aren't these beautiful very vibrant orange and they lighten up a little bit when they just open are kind of fresh you can see here they are a little bit darker this one actually stayed a little bit darker as it looks i'm not completely sure but the stem of the flower spike itself is way bigger than they have had them before so this one is uh, really enjoying growing in uh, in a greenhouse here which makes me happy of course but beautiful right that yellow from the golden elf and then a bright orange so it's, they do go very well together i think and then i have a white fell here not much spectacular but that one is uh, ready to uh, find a new home and just a look at all my family offices, the wall of uh, flower fame. This is one there right in the middle of the screen. I think this one, I, no, no, I just, I know this one, <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, this, uh, I just had filmed with the 13 spikes and they still are on there, all blooming. And what a beautiful show, isn't it? And that beautiful red one next to it. And the yellow one, orange one, I'm sorry pink beautiful such a beautiful show or maybe i should zoom in a little bit more so you can see them a little bit better and i'm just going to show you these blooms like this because otherwise we will be here uh, way too long and i'm not much of a parolic type bloom lover but i like this way it has three branches and they are all open nicely together it's almost like they are smiling or something so yeah, at this stage I really enjoy it. But normally I, I do like uh, these types of blooms, a bit bigger. Uh, the big lips, like this one, is, is also beautiful. But I uh, thought, well, one Polaric is nice and I really, uh, like I said, I really enjoy this one. Beautiful colors. So yeah. And then we have a more white. Oh types of colors here this one is freshly opened first rebloom i have no name for that one or this one or this one well this one is actually i do have a name <laughs> uh tulkan family ups is tulkan this one the uh, pink with orange lip and way up there we have the pika something 
still blooming. This one likes to bloom. And a beautiful pink one next to it. That did lose already some blooms. Then we have this beautiful red one. And this is also a first time bloomer for me. You probably haven't seen it before or he heard about it because a lot of uh, growers have this one. As you can see, it's the Bronze Maiden. And mine is fairly orange, peachy uh, color. And I really like it. They uh, seem to uh, vary uh, quite a bit. But uh, this is a first time bloom. It's a very small, young orchid, but a uh, beautiful spike with uh, four blooms. And uh, of course, the Leodoro. And in there in the back, we have a Another one that has a bit of the same colors as the Lirodoro. And here we have a very bright one. And Soleriana, still blooming. Beautiful. And a new one. Oh, I see a new, new one open here. I didn't notice that. This is not the new one, but this is a beautiful one. <laughs> And then underneath here we have the mini mark. But do you see that in the back, that yellow one that just opened today? So the mini mark. And then we have this one. Cupid, Japan Cupid, Cupid. I'm sorry. Beautiful, beautiful. I didn't notice beautiful lip. Yellow, bright orange, a little bit of red. So yeah, these ones are going well together as well, I think. <laughs> so these were the fails. So far we have two more here hanging. <laughs> and I also like this one. This one is also those peach, peach colors that I do enjoy. My yellows I always like. Of course, we have some white ones. And we have a little bit, yeah, pink. Purple, orangey, red. <laughs> and then let me go over to that side. I need to bend a little bit because of the spikes. <laughs> we have here, this one is also opening up. This one has very, very large blooms. It's the second spike for this year. Maybe you remember it, but uh, yeah, it's starting blooming again. And then we have this. This one is also still very beautiful. Very clustered blooms. I really enjoy it. They seem to go a bit lighter. Yeah, oh yeah, here you can see they are some of them starting to go over. But this one bloomed for a quite a long time. It's very beautiful. So that were my my veils. What a colors, right? <laughs> it's like a big bouquet on the wall. I really love it. Uh, let me see, let me see. We have my nobly types here. This one is going over. This is the Comment King Akachuti. Shuti? Pink one, I'm sorry, I can barely see any blue. Let me try to turn it around. This one is upside down, but I'm sorry. <laughs> but that one is now going over. Next to it is my oldest one, the one that's been through a lot, as you can see. <laughs> because of the size and the color of the leaves. But this is the Spring Dream of Pollen. Maybe you noticed, but I just turned off the fan. I'm sorry. I did forgot that I had it still on. Um, this is the Rainbow Dance. Yes. I just found the name because I was in uh, orchid shopping with my husband and my niece. And then we found the same one. Actually, a few of them with the tags. So I now have a, maybe it's a commercial name, I'm not completely sure, but it's uh, called Dendrobium Rainbow Dance. That's this one. And then, you guys, next to it, I know finally which one this is. I had no idea. I knew, obviously, that Roger has his worm, but this is the uh, Prima Donna. And I love that one always in his videos. And I had no idea, but I turned out that I bought it myself, but it was uh, with no name. And you can see that little bit of purple, pink purple splash on the lip. And the rest is uh, yellow with a darker yellow, deeper yellow inside the lip. But yeah, beautiful. 
So my own prima donna with quite some blooms on it. Beautiful form. I think this is my favorite one so far from the uh, four, well, actually five nobly types that I have. I'm sorry for the shaking. But uh, yeah, at the moment, this one is the most beautiful, I think. Then this one has, has a few blooms left. This is the Dendrobium phenolopsis. Uh, and a green splash. So I have the Anna green as well, same colors, but this has uh, more uh, purple on the petals, sepals. I'm always confusing those. <laughs> and this is also a new one. This is uh, Oncidium pure yellow. It does remind me a little bit of the Psychopsis three lip shape of the bloom it's way smaller but a bit of the shape but yeah this is pure yellow oncidium pure yellow it's a very simple name but it's beautiful uh, and pure yellow i think that's a that's correct if you it's very very bright yellow i'm sorry i hope you can see it don't mind uh, the leftovers of aphids and uh, is this a trip well it could be actually I thought they were gone. Well, may maybe I have a few through. I will check it uh, in a moment. But um, also a new bloomer, first time bloomer for me, is this one. It's beautiful. I say that every time, I think. But uh, let me check the, the name. Uh, it's called Bellara Terrero. I'm sorry. Bellara Terrero. Yeah, beautiful, I think. Then I just have to look around. I have a twinkle that I decided to make another spike. So I have <laughs> in the near future some twinkle blooms. And look at this. Again, very beautiful, bright orange. Two spikes. First rebloom. I bought it in bloom. And the first bloom is already going over. But it took, it took quite a while to open it all up. Beautiful. It looks so nice. And I like the, the pendant shape coming from the shelf into the greenhouse. It just looks so spectacular, I think. And yeah, I think you already saw it in the background that my Mill Miltonia Sunset, the newest one, but the very, very vibrant colors did open a spike with three blooms. Beauties. And I don't know if you saw it. No, you saw, didn't see it because the bloom is in the way. But that new growth, the other new growth is making a spike as well. So we will have more in the new future. And then I think I'm at the last one for, uh, for the day. This is also very beautiful. You see, I keep saying it. It's just because it is. <laughs> it's my, um, oh, I should know the name. But I can't remember. It's uh, Russia something. I will have it in the screen. I apologize. Normally I always know this one on top of my head, but today not. But a beautiful spike, and I really, really like the shape of the blooms. And this one is now really getting uh, quite a nice established plant with four directions of growth. And we have another spike here, so that's number two. In the back is number three. Let me get over there. It's a bit smaller. I hope you can see it. So there's a direction of growth, but I also have a direction of growth here. This one isn't open yet, as you can see. So this is, has four directions of growth, this one. Very, very beautiful. Orange Delights. You probably already saw I had it in the screen, but I, I did remember it. It was somewhere, somewhere. Um, yeah. So this is it. I have quite a few uh, in bloom. Well, actually, most of the time. Oh, I forget my one of my terrestrials. I'm not done. That's always happening. I always forget someone, at least some orchid. Pla pla Plyonie. Formosa, 
promotion uh, crossed with Kima. I will have it in the screen as well. <laughs> Yeah, it does look like the uh, Formosa, but the lip, the color in the lip is a bit lighter, if I remember correctly. I had both of them in bloom at the same time, so I could uh, compare them. And to be honest, I, I didn't need both of them. They are looking very similar, but I wanted to check them out, of course, with the rest of us. But beautiful bloom so far. So yeah, I... Uh, quickly check everything I think I have it for now so yeah I hope you enjoy it let's uh, focus on uh, my uh, beautiful wall of uh, fell flowers <laughs> I really really love it all those colors so beautiful I really like this one as well this is one of my oldest yeah okay I get, did get a, a little bit distracted again but um so yeah, thank you so much. This is my blooming update for the month of uh, March. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I really do enjoy making these videos, of course. So uh, please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. And for now, I hope to really hope to see you at one of my next videos. So thank you. And uh, like I said, till the next time. Bye bye.